This is an idea that's been there for a long time. I think uh, way back in uh, early 2000s, there was a talk, talk of a virtual technical university that could be launched and all that. And then uh, I think NPTEL has been a huge roaring success in terms of reaching out from IIT to many people. So there was a town hall meeting with all faculty. Uh, I remember attending that and I was very excited to see that uh, IIT is actually being uh, this open-minded about a program which has never been uh, done in the past by any IIT. There is a big group of interested learners who will benefit from an outreach from an IIT. And it was just a coming together of a critical mass of people with ideas and capabilities and all of that. And as it turns out, that has happened in IIT Madras first. Uh, it, it's not possible to name a couple of people for this thing. But overall, then director, Bhaskar Ramurthy, could be one strong force behind this thing. Uh, they have been students of this institute themselves, uh, like you see Andrew Thangaraj and others, they have studied here. And uh, their concept of making this type of education available to everybody and anywhere is the most unique part of this concept. Just to give you the gist, uh, we started planning for the program in September 2019, so which was pre-COVID and we had no inkling COVID was coming and uh, so we uh, were planning to launch everything assuming that you know students would be there, how do you give them a campus experience but with them not being on campus, how do you give them association with each other, how do you get them to interact and so on. So a lot of things went into the planning because we knew that the nature of the program would be where students would not necessarily you know interact with each other physically a lot and uh, that was the way we started. And what we have been able to do is we have been able to identify students who have uh, missed out on an opportunity to learn from an institute like IIT. Hello everyone, um, my name is Anshu hai and I am from Bihar but I am working in Hyderabad. Uh, hi, uh, this is Kritika, I am from Bangalore. Chennai Lenda Vara. Myself Kalpana, I am from Chennai. I have come from Abu Dhabi. I am Aditi from Bangalore. Saurabh Singh from Motihari, Bihar. My name is Gautam Gala and I am from Bombay. Everyone, I am Abhishek from Nalanda, Bihar. I am Shubhai Bhomik, I am from Calcutta. Purusharan from Ishakapatnam. Haryana. Tamil Nadu, throughout the district of Tamil Nadu. From Jaipur, Astal. There has always been this thing that the IIT degree is something very exclusive. I mean, people give a lot of importance to the JE entrance exam. And I think that's not the way it should be. I mean, that doesn't sort of feel right. As a JE aspirant, I feel it is a very good opportunity, golden opportunity for the all JE aspirant who have not able to clear JE advance but have access to the IIT Madras through this vital degree. At a very local level, right, uh, we, we realize that uh, very good students in this country are not limited to whom we get to meet in IITM. See, IIT process is to have a very tough entrance exam and then have a very narrow filter to let people in. So here we were not doing that. The different degrees, it gives you a different, it has a different curriculum, mm -hmm. it has different courses, it has a different goal in life. We are going to have a large funnel and then slowly filter people who are really hard-working, determined and have the capability to come out with the degrees. It is a, it's more of a pyramid thing, they're a parallel thing. So I guess if something is this different from what we do, then you should have a different separate entrance exam. Right? I mean, the whole idea of teaching over here is that you reach as many people as possible. And then hopefully, you know, without sort of diluting what you are doing over there, you should still be able to challenge the students as part of the course. And, you know, once they are able to do it, then why not? Right? I think that's, that's sort of been the goal of a lot of uh, the faculty that I've met over the past few years. I think this, this thing, obsession we have that, you know, uh, the one exam that you write in your life and the top 20,000 students in that exam are the only people who are going to be great in life. Everybody else is a failure and all that. I think it's that that thought has to go. I think, this. I think earlier uh, uh, the JE is kind of a barrier which no one likes. Even those who uh, get through it probably would agree that they would rather have had more fun in their 10th to 12th uh, instead of you know spending years and years working on uh, cracking one exam. 
So I think everyone will agree that uh, we we should have a better system in place than than the JEE. So we have a lot of people. So there are almost sixteen thousand plus people in the program, but. Uh, what we find to be really interesting and exciting for us is a lot of students who never thought IIT was within their uh, reach or IITs were uh, not in their uh, plans at all, right? So, people who even gave up on math or science in their class 10. So, we are finding so many students like that. There are students who have uh, who do not have a formal education after class 12 who are coming into this program and benefiting out of the learning experiences. study in IIT and second is I wanted to become a data scientist and I think this particular course is helping me to achieve my dreams. I am very excited. IIT, proud to be an IIT. This has been my dream. See, I think the IIT brand name has a huge credibility and this program has been sort of very, very cautious of that and very conscious of that also and the credibility is maintained. It's a lot of people will come thinking that you know it's a uh, this gives me a stamp of success. I don't have to do anything else beyond that. So, so that is not a that so that group needs more effective filtering. You know, <laughs> we have to be sure that they're really capable. But as a, as opposed to people who come in with a passion for data science and studying and all that, so that group is much easier to deal with. Entering into this degree, you don't need any prerequisite. All you have to do is keep, they will provide you content, four weeks of content. You don't need any coaching. You don't need anything. If even if you are poorest of the poor person. Then also, you don't you don't have to go to any tutor and get knowledge. All you have to do is, keep, if you have that level of IQ, you will get into an IQ. So, see, there is, there is nothing about real IITs. This IIT tag is created by students, students inside IIT and outside IIT. Okay, IIT tag doesn't mean you are successful in life. Those are different types. I have seen IITians failing in life. I have seen non-IITians doing great in life. So that's a myth. You are studying uh, from IIT, a recognized degree you will be getting. That means you are an IIT. You will be part of IIT. And uh, so I would say reach. Uh, we are able to reach a vast majority of students, which we were otherwise missing out. Secondly, the execution, the, the IT infrastructure and the, the design of the program and the sessions, right, uh, the, the live sessions, I would say, where interactions happen. Doing all that and keeping the rigor intact, I think those are the success factors, amazingly done. So, life, being successful in life needs a very well-rounded personality with a lot of, uh, lot of other characteristics and I, I do not think the one single exam for which you know you spend lakhs of rupees coaching up people and you know going and writing i mean it does define i'm not not belittling the students of the basic program by any chance there are some very good students there that is also true i mean it's it's, it's okay but i don't think that shuts the door for anybody else
realize that if students are spread out across the country, how do they reach us? How do they get in uh, contact with us? It's not like they can physically walk into our office and then get their issues resolved. And how many phone calls and how many, you know, emails can we answer? You have to pay attention to students, attention to courses, attention to faculty. There's so many small, small, small issues that you have to pay attention to. I think it's actually the drive of the team over here. Right? I mean, they're all very positive and they have a fairly clear idea of why they want to do it. Everybody here, one thing you would see is every staff involved is passionate about what they are doing. They are doing it with uh, an understanding of the social impact that they are creating through these activities. And uh, so the team knows a lot about how to run an online program on a massive scale. right? And. Uh, Given that background, I think we at least had that confidence that yes, there is a good chance of this happening. I had a few courses online in college, but I don't think that at this point online courses are helping anyone. Okay. I think online education has helped me because uh, we can choose like our teachers. If you have a teacher who is in India, then you can choose a channel on YouTube, like YouTube, the courses. There are so many courses. If we do it with self-discipline, uh, like we can make it through. The main thing we lack is See, going to school is not just only about studying what's in the book, okay? It's more of, more of a discipline thing. Mm -hmm. You learn the discipline over there. You get up early in the morning, you have to be in the school at a certain time. So when you're doing the online thing, you miss that out, you know? Online education, we don't travel to travel. We must sit at home, relax, and we can study in the near future might, you know, replace this traditional course of action and education. You are just being... Yeah, you are not being educated, you are just being certified. In, in a in a offline class, uh, which which is the regular mode of interaction on campus, uh, uh, student has an option of uh, asking a question there and then. From there, of course, I had to make a little bit of a transition to teaching in a room like this, where uh, uh, you don't have interaction with uh, any student and you are just talking to a camera, essentially. Well, I don't think that is a major hurdle. I managed to get two young fellows uh, to sit in my course. They used to sit here in this very room and uh, they used to ask me questions and you know that kind of made I think the course a little bit better. I think. From my perspective there is no interaction and that's beautiful because just think about it. It's like I started something and occasionally I'm nudging it and it's proving to something brilliant. That's fantastic. That is return on effort. Uh, so there are differences, but uh, well, in the offline class, if you are stuck somewhere and you want to hear that concept being taught in the classroom again, you don't have a choice. Here you have a choice. You can always go back to the video and watch it again. So I am the Panjan Rao. I am a student of uh, BS in Data Science and Application from IIT Madras. And besides this, I am working on my startup projects and I am working on different hackathon projects and events. The parts which we use for every hackathon. So today we basically have a meet where we intend to create some part of our future project so <laughs> these things are part of our daily life we say you can see some strange things lined up but yeah these are harsh core hardcore realities hello 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 hi sorry Shashat. hi ronak <laughs> you know, <they> <laughs> This guy. Questions. Are you about it? Satyam, what are you doing? You are Satyam. Satyam, what are you doing? 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 What are you 
সোলার এর উপর একটা প্রজেক্ট করছি অ্যাকচুয়ালি দে আর ওয়ার্কিং অন মাল্টিপল প্রজেক্টস ওটা একটা ব্যাপার ওটা এটা ফর স্টার্ট আপ হ্যাঁ বাকি আছে হ্যাকাথনস এর জন্য আলাদা আছে ইউ নেভার নো ওয়েন আ হ্যাকাথন টার্নস ইনটু আ স্টার্ট আপ হ্যাঁ নো ইফ ইউ আর আ স্টুডেন্ট অফ আইআইটি মাদ্রাস বিএস ডিগ্রি ইট গিভস ইউ আ লট অফ অপরচুনিটিস হ্যাঁ বলো আপ আধা ঘন্টা বাদ ঠিক আছে আধা ঘন্টা বাদ लेके हाँ ये ये तो आपके लिए कुछ वही बोला ना कल खुशखबरी देंगे वट आई फील समथिंग नेगेटिव अबाउट आवर डिग्री मे बी एवरी वन इज नॉट एबल टू एक्सपीरियंस दैट फ्रेंडशिप और कनेक्ट विद द मासेस लाइक द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर डूइंग द ऑफलाइन डिग्री हु आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद देयर ऑफलाइन डिग्री दे आर नॉट एबल टू इंटरेक्ट एंड दे डोंट इवन गेट द टाइम टू इंटरेक्ट एंड मेक न्यू फ्रेंड्स ओवर हियर but iit madras bs degree is not merely this thing it is much more than that and to experience that you need to you know participate in events make some connections meet some good friends and you never know when you meet them offline the friendship deepens and you feel the real bond which you might not experience of online i'll i'll actually tell you when i really felt this program was uh, was really is doing what it is doing that was when i attended paradox last last time. so one of the things we wanted and we were getting asked by students is can we come to the campus can we come to the campus it was just a, a fun conversation where we said uh, we being uh, an online degree we are all going to have a fest offline so that itself is a paradox how can this happen we thought why not try to do something where it is a lean period for the on campus program and we can kind of manage them to be here for 2 3 days which should provide better interaction amongst the various sections of students and also help showcase their ability when it actually happened we could see that there were 2000 plus students on campus and all of them were so enthusiastic and the other excitement for us was the uh, there was a small section of students who had completed one diploma so it was like an achievement for us too because we had crossed like one major milestone in the program what really came out was everybody in that group had chosen to do this program which is unlike uh, most college degrees most college degrees people choose because that's what they get based on their marks or based on their rank in an exam or something here that was not the case everybody had voluntarily chosen to do this uh, so that passion was uh, emanating everywhere and that really uh, was an enthusiasm was an exciting thing to see <laughs> anyways so the next performance i would like to call upon utkarsh for a light and dance this is you he or utkarsh and I am a student at IIT Madras and I'm 23 years old. I use they them pronouns. 
which can get a little bit hard to navigate and probably as we figured out by now not anywhere on the straight spectrum of things okay so yeah i think that was like the most surprising thing and you said like doing me by name i was just like am i a celebrity <laughs> it turns out like i know boss because i mean i was wearing these earrings so i was definitely standing out true to my <laughs> you know mission of standing out so as of now the program is very diverse the thing that really struck out to me was like whenever i think i have ever had an encounter with an educational authoritative person like basically a person who's an education uh, like educator also in a position of authority i have always sort of gotten evasive like invasive questions from them i think as uh, we are getting more and more exposure with different types of we are asking them that more because once a person is in like this position of authority they think like they can literally ask you anything and it's it will be completely fine or it's not uncomfortable at all i have not i personally not noticed any one treating anyone else differently and because i have gotten those invasive questions i was expecting them so i had like this you know like just ready like journal in my head okay if they ask this i have to reply this if they ask this if they and i literally just had to throw that journal in the trash later on because no one asked any invasive questions i feel like that is really it's really great thing it's not now we see and it's it's different but it's very nice i do have ideas that i want to work on i actually asked you know how um, do we deal with inequities relating to getting data from the lgbt com- uh, community like for example i want to collect uh, raw data for, for uh, raw data about our community from all around india and see if there are pieces that i if there are conclusions that i can derive But most of us are closeted or they don't want to actually actively participate in you know any sort of um, like forums or any sort of forms even i don't want to like you know have some random third party company who's just compiling data have data about my sexuality my gender such personal information i don't want to give that away but there are places where schools are very homophobic do they have uh, sensitive sensitization about this topic like so how do we actually go about you know including them as part of the data study as well as maintaining that information as, as anonymous as possible like we cannot track those people because the people who are handling the data we don't know their intentions uh, can i assemble a group of people and send them over to schools to you know uh, so that we can educate the people make make the people aware about our identity about who we are i i like the fact that everyone is forward thinking over here and that Everyone is really accepting. I have met a lot of uh, senior citizens who are part of this team. So I am very proud and honored to be feeling uh, and having and possessing the identity of being an IAPM. I have met uh, people from the LGBTQ community. I have not had a chance to meet someone from LGBTQ community, but I have always found that there is no way of treating them in any different manner. It's all been the same. Is there scope for more diversity? I would say yes. There is definitely scope for more diversity because we would like uh, more uh, women in the program. I am Anjali Kataria. I am about to complete my training for the post of Deputy Superintendent of Police in UP. Uh, I am also pursuing uh, this degree in IIT uh, Science. And so currently about 25 to 30% of the uh, learners are uh, female being a police woman being a part of this police service i think that this is going to help me uh, enable me to uh, get us uh, some skill set in the field of cyber security and cyber forensics which i am planning to uh, pick later on and i am learning new skill sets direction so we would like for that to become 50% that women should join police service and armed forces other forces like navy uh, and air force army in 
large numbers in at least they are not being represented their representation is very low in police or other armed forces i think i will get a chance to serve in a gender neutral way if i uh, as i i am about to join a uh, field training in police service so this is one motivation why i wanted to join it similarly representation from rural india if we, that can improve that is another thing which we would really like and people from uh, government school background so that is another thing which we would like we would want at least 10% of our uh, student population to be coming from government schools so these are all targets which we want to achieve and we keep working towards these uh, diversity goals uh, every day i'm not sure it, there is any such thing as the peak of the diversity i mean at the end of the day that would probably involve you know i mean spreading much beyond india and going outside as well hi my name is mishal abdul aziz and right now i'm working as a warranty administrator in hyundai bahrain i was born in bahrain and did most of my schooling over here yeah how do i manage the course with the job it's something that somehow i'm doing i was really surprised to be able to meet so many new students from people from diverse backgrounds different age groups there are people who are as old as my father and as young as my brother sitting and writing the exam next day but uh, i think the fact that there is diversity is very clear and i think that's something we are very happy about right that's fundamentally one of the things that we would like to see right we don't want it to be sort of uh, exclusive in some way that it makes it difficult for others to join so yeah has it reached the peak of its diversity i don't know i don't even know what that exactly means but uh, i'm glad that it is showing diversity so hi dipanjan and uh, your friends hello hello to hi 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 my name and uh, i am batchmate of dipanjan bhai at iit madras dekho ye hota introduction i am rona and i'm also i'm also in this degree but batchmate to nahi bol sakte mere foundation mein ho rahi hai to seedha seedha baat ye hai ki ordino se abhi ek proper pcb board mein migrate karna hai humko wahan se hamare cloud pe data chala gaya to main problem hai aur jo aapko solve karna hai wo hai ye wala ye sensor ya fir jo hardware hai wahan se data microcontroller tak kaisa hai so hamara scene kya hai na hamara microcontroller aur jo alag other components hai वो एक ही मॉड्यूल में रहेगा तो हमारा वो नहीं है आप लोगों का जैसा सेंसर दूसरे जगह रहता हाँ। है कंट्रोलर दूसरे जगह रहता है हमारा वो नहीं है हमारा साथ में तो वो दिक्कत नहीं है हमें हमें दि... तो दिक्कत दिक्कत हाँ एक तो पीसीबी डिजाइन करवाना है एक वो हो गया और दूसरा ये है कि जो कंट्रोलर हमारा बन रहा है उससे डेटा हम सर्वर पे कैसे डालें बेसिकली हाँ राइट Unless we are completely, completely sure. sure about the prototype, yeah, we should not go for because uh, we we should be confident that five hundred piece big na bhi chahiye. Not that we should make sure what we are imagining that is connecting to reality. Hmm. I'm 30 year old, I'm 30 salgon. Oh. Or I'm a Delhi se graduate hu. Normal BSc, PCM. So ultimately, the students are the ones who give us the confirmation that okay, we are doing something right. When we see students who are motivated, who are actually enthusiastic, they are passionate. Uska nahi, fir main aur is decision ke baad mein kuch government job ki taiyari kari. Kuch jere success nahi ho paya. Fir unorganized sector mein main job karne laga. अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर में जॉब करने के अधिकतर नुकसान ही होते हैं देखो कोई प्रॉपर छुट्टी नहीं होती छुट्टी होती है आपके पैसे कटते हैं तो थोड़ा सा हाँ 
मैं सिर्फ थर्टी कहूँ तो थोड़ा सा ट्रेवल रहा है कोरोना टाइम की बात थी टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी 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 वन आई लॉस्ट माई जॉब एट द टाइम तो आई वॉज जस्ट सर्चिंग ऑन इंटरनेट इंस्टाग्राम आई वॉज जस्ट लर्निंग कोडिंग फ्राम यूट्यूब तो मेरे एक अंकल हैं मेरे ताऊ जी हैं उन्होंने मुझे इस बारे में बताया फिर मैंने यूट्यूब पर देखा इसको सर्च करा तो आई आई टी मद्रास का प्रोमो था वहाँ पर मैंने फिर अप्लाई करा मुझे लगा कि ठीक है अगर सब कुछ स्क्रैच से है एक नई शुरुआत करना काफ़ी मुश्किल होता है मैं गवर्नमेंट मैं जॉब चेंज करना चाहता था मैं चाहता था कि मेरी एंट्री कॉरपोरेट सेक्टर में हो थोड़ा स्किल बेस्ड को जॉब मिले लेकिन शुरुआत करना कहीं से आसान नहीं था जब मैंने आईआईटी का करिकुलम देखा उसका प्रोमो देखा कि आप ट्वेल्थ किसी भी स्ट्रीम से होनी चाहिए मैं लकीली बीएससी है मेरा तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं हुई और हॉट even going forward who knows like, it was like i was in class 11 or 12 uh, like preparing for my hs so or like something like that and as the area evolves we will also evolve right if tomorrow some other subjects become very important we will be adding those subjects to this program so it made me start again start over and in a good way all of that in a good way all of it in a inspirational inspirational way so our goal is to uh, you know train a large number of students in relevant job areas give them a good uh, college education and get them out and get them into jobs that's that's the loop we knew because we had done uh, some kind of a survey in the industry and we knew that there is a need for people with some data science capability and quite a large need was there and uh, you know today the need is being fulfilled only by a very select set of people who are coming out of so it was clear that there is a need and also it was clear that there is a between a very high end like a business consulting analyst kind of position uh, there is a there is a space in the middle right for uh, very large numbers of people to get placed we have a very active industry interaction cell uh, we are actively working on placements and internships a lot of students who have uh, qualified for internships so we provide the support after they are Uh, at certain level in the program and uh, we have been able to place a lot of people through internships and even for full time placement placement talks basically kya hota hai companies jab wo aati hain wo wo batati hain ki ha ki hum aapke yahan se placement uthane wale hain to uske liye wo pre placement talk hoti hai jisme hum log ke paas mein email aati hai calendar ka link aata hai google meet ka link aata hai hum log usko time pe join karte hain to pre placement talk mein kya hota hai ki jo company jo aa rahi hai recruitment ke liye uske hr generally hr hote hain manager hote hain वो अपनी कंपनी के बारे में एक शॉर्ट इंट्रो देते हैं जो जितने भी कैंडिडेट वहाँ पे ज्वाइन करोते हैं हम उनसे क्रॉस क्वेश्चंस पूछ सकते हैं उसके बाद में वो हमें बताते हैं कि कैसे अप्लाई करना है कहाँ अप्लाई करना है वो हमें बताते हैं उनको क्या क्राइटेरिया चाहिए उनकी क्या एक्सपेक्टेशन है एग्जाम किस टाइप का होगा इंटरव्यू के क्या राउंड होंगे वो मतलब एक हमें पूरा हाँ रिव्यू दे देते हैं उसके बाद में ई वगैरह होती है उनको कॉन्टैक्ट भी कर सकते हैं तो एक आपका एक मतलब एक रिव्यू होता है एक नॉलेज होती है This is our main bread and butter, and so we'll keep adapting with that. I think I don't see, I I don't I see definitely see that happening. We 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 are doing data science application development now. We may have to do one more subject which is very important for the future. We'll keep adding to that. That part will get added. Uh, IITM is thinking about a data science department. It it's not at uh, reality. There is a data science paper in Gate that people are thinking about. So the area itself. uh will evolve to have masters programs and phd's and all other i mean it's a very hot area for entrepreneurship we are closely working with uh, esel of iit madras uh, to provide the required support. over the next few years what the graduates of the program do how they establish themselves out in society will really be the litmus test for this program i can say a lot of other things 
but this is what matters. Other degrees like this will be coming, that is a certainty. We will have one more program launched very soon so from IIT Madras. I expect more IITs will also offer similar programs. So, what we are seeing initially is very good signs when our students go out and work for companies, when they go out and work for our faculty in projects, we are getting very good vibes and positive uh, signals back, there is no doubt about it. Uh, but we have to keep sustaining that, students have to keep sustaining that. Uh, what we would like to achieve is every student who completes class 12 should be aware that this program exists, this kind of an opportunity exists. We have to have these big success stories like the BTEC students have had over the past and it will take time. And we want to make sure that every kid who is completing class 12 knows that this is an opportunity available for them to learn from a premier institution like IIT Madras. It is very difficult to uh, say that you know tomorrow it is going to be as good as uh, any other big very well accomplished uh, program and that challenge is with us. We are willing to work hard, we are working hard on it. Students also have to work hard uh, to get, get there. All along you must have uh, heard so many, uh, heard and read so many articles uh, in the newspapers, in magazines, um, in uh, television shows uh, about IIT Madras. Uh, you know that uh, IIT Madras is uh, NIRF uh, ranking 1. Uh, but what I would like to say is that you are now IIT Madras. And therefore, when we say IIT Madras is NIRF 1, you are NIRF 1. So, and, and I also would like to say that this is not just a, you know, ideal statement. Uh, in all these rankings, the student community is a very important part of any ranking, whether it is US ranking, NIRF ranking, doesn't matter what ranking you see anywhere in the world for any set of institutions, uh, educational institutions, the student community, uh, what they are, how they are here, what they end up doing after they graduate, all of, all of that data is a very important part of uh, coming up with that ranking. So any time you see an article, anything that praises IIT Madras, anything that criticizes IIT Madras, please remember you are part of it. Uh, you represent this institute wherever you go and any article you read about IIT Madras is about you. And so uh, anything that you do also reflects on the institute. So that's also something that is a responsibility that you carry with you wherever you go. You may visit us for three days, but you are part of us forever. Okay. So thank you. Students of a, like India's best college. It's amazing. Like 
uh, to be in the campus of a top technological institute in the country is it's good it actually brings back certain memories from my childhood because i grew up in one such campus so it's a little bit nostalgic it feels really good that we can connect we can came here we can enjoy the whole campus so it's very really and i also realized that this would be my only opportunity to learn from uh, the country's best college so